Hello everybody, hello, hello, and welcome to this episode of our continuous relationship show here on D3 TV. Now you already know we give you premium content on premium content every time. Now we've been doing a series for a long time about, you know, relationship issues and all, and then we are going to put a pause on that. And now we're going to have something very different today. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we'll be, I'll be giving you guys our guest for today, and we'll delve right into it. Hi there. Have you ever considered how to generate money online? Let me explain. When you work as an agent with Utify.Finance, you receive a discount on all services provided on our platform, which you can then resell to your clients at the full price. Consider the DSTV Compact Bundle. As an agent, you will receive a discount of 0.8% and you will have the option to tack on additional fees when reselling. Start making money right now with Utify.Finance. Welcome back guys, welcome back to this relationship show. Now my co-host and major host for some time is really like, I'm calling her a guest. Now she's the owner of this show some, some of the days. This is Wina. Hi guys, welcome. So like I said, we're not going to be doing all of the series that we've been doing for a while because like I feel like we were getting depressed at the point because it was just bad, bad news yeah. every time. Do you get? So now we're just going to be looking at something very interesting and something very funny. It's funny because it's just funny. Now the topic is looking at petty reasons why some women have left a guy hanging in the talking stage. What are you going to I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get right into it. So I'm going to be reading things that some ladies have seen or experienced or heard from the guys that made them just block off, block the guy, delete his number, you know, just be like, ciao, honey. Ingo B. <laughs> so let me just read the first one. So she says on the first date, he asked me to turn on my hotspot and then went outside to video call his babe. As in, he carried my phone outside because the Wi-Fi could not reach. I just heard, babe, this Wi-Fi is trash. I'll call you later. What? <laughs> Before we continue, when I come. <laughs> Hey guys! <laughs> no. Wait, like, yeah, I need my Wi-Fi. <laughs> I guess you want to see for the weekend, you know? Weekend trip. No, I don't know. I need my Wi-Fi. And then you go outside. You're funny, you're good. You know, like, the Wi-Fi is trash. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. I feel so bad. So the second lady said, this man was arguing with me that he wasn't married. Now, I feel like maybe they've been having conversations and everything like that, you get? Yeah. So I think something, maybe she saw his picture or something. So she was not saying that, ah, but you're married now, why are you like still in my DM? He's not saying that he was not married, that it was just a fiesta because he had to get married to somebody that has a Canada passport. All married in a marriage. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> what? Are you whining him? She didn't say she even said conversations on Facebook and he just said thank you. He's not telling her that he was not married, that he was just a party, you know. He just, Liars. I don't know why men do this thing. Liars. I really don't know why men do this thing, you guys. I'm not going to analyze too much because we're just going to have fun for this show. Like, vibe. Let's, let's not go deep. deep. Exactly. So the story lady said, a few weeks into the talking stage, and he was already calling me his wife. And next thing I know, baby, our car needs servicing. And the <laughs> house needs to be stocked up. <laughs> but let's not come up. I want to do this. <laughs> I'm not guessing you. You know why so, so, you know, I'm not guessing you. Know, you know, talk up the house. Uh. And I thought women were the ones that catch feelings <laughs> very easily. Like, and you wouldn't even stand down on feeling. Obviously, he wants to like make her to bring oh. stuff. It's only our wife or her, so. Oh. She's not part of the family. She should bring money for the stock up. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. <laughs> so, Winner is going to be reading the next two just because, you know, we have to keep this ice to us. So, now, guys, this next one is alarming because. <laughs> He didn't choke me. Now, <clears throat> went on a date and he said, snap the chicken and Hollandia. Post it on your status for your friends to see and know that you are enjoying Hollandia and chicken. He not said me to, to share it on your status. Did you post it? <laughs> are you I crazy? This, this, I, I feel like I will just block you and just like run away because what? Like, me personally, I would, I would not take it like I'm like what the what is that? that? What like this is that I'm not I'm not eating Hollandia. There is even one I saw. I said I want a shawarma date. What <laughs> what is all this? <laughs> I finally want a sh so you have been hustling to win shawarma dates. That's just wild. <laughs> Let's go ahead, yo. Okay, the next one he said he sent me different waist trainers picture after our first meeting. Why? Why, why, why are you banging? Like, why are you, why are you jumping? Obviously, maybe he saw something. Maybe there was a lot. <laughs> maybe I feel like you should. It's, I don't think it's proper. You wait. Okay. I'll probably have a conversation with the person exactly. about it. Say, okay, CCC, do you okay, like this, how your weight is? Exactly. Let's get a waist trainer for you. This is not, the intention is to me my phone with pictures. What is that? 
What, what's that? Mm-hmm. Anyway, I hope you guys are learning from all these things because these are like ton of men. No, they do what they like guys do. Two yes, ladies man. that make them like just probably ghost you or just lose whatever interest they used to have about mm-hmm. the person. Okay, okay guys, see, uh, see, matter don't be long. Let's let's just go on a short break. Relax ourselves and refresh and come back and go over the last two for this episode. Hi there. Have you ever considered how to generate money online? Let me explain. When you work as an agent with Unified.Finance, you receive a discount on all services provided on our platform, which you can then resell to your clients at the full price. Consider the DSTV Compact Bundle. As an agent, you will receive a discount of 0.8% and you will have the option to tack on additional fees when reselling. Start making money right now with Unified.Finance. Welcome back guys, welcome. Are you liking this? Man, are you learning? Are you understanding things you should say and not say on the first day? You understand, right? Okay, so one man called me and I was sorting out laundry to give my guy who washes for me. Now he said, you mean you don't wash your clothes? And he says, I never spoke to him again. Do I have to wash my clothes? But that's not like enough like, reason for you to stop talking to someone. No, I feel like probably the way he said it, you know what just read him. You yeah, know the tone. Yeah. You know, tone of voice is very, very important when it comes to this kind of thing. Jige, so like, it's probably there's a way he said it, like, ah, so you mean you don't watch that kind of this, them condescending mm. way and everything. Probably it's not good enough reason to actually end chatting. Yeah. I just feel like, okay, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that one is somehow sharp. Okay, but the last one for this episode, we says, another said, a guy friend saw me buying food and said, why will a lady be buying food instead of cooking? He even went as far as saying I should be cooking his meals also that he doesn't like buying food. Okay, no. No, that he has to stop buying food because he doesn't like it. No. <laughs> that is enough reason to stop talking to a guy. Because what the <laughs> Do I look like a slave? Do I look like <laughs> if you want one that cooking, get a chef. You have the money, do you not? If I want to buy food, it's my perfect cooking thing. So you what, have what the food. No, I will cook when it's conducive for me to cook. Exactly. And probably because Everybody okay, I don't like it. I'm in mean, my husband's house, you are obligated to cook. But not you in know. relationship. You me, I will cook. Come to our cook for Mm-mm. That's so, a lot. I think personally, yeah, I don't like it because it stresses me out a lot. There are people that love cooking, like in their yeah, food. That's a very true. fine be but don't now make it on someone's that don't put don't make the pressure water. <laughs> don't make it pressure. You even get cases where like, okay you're going to see maybe mother in law or maybe girlfriend the mom mm-hmm. is coming to the house mm-hmm. and Probably you wear skimpy dresses at home and she's coming, you're putting on Agbada and Nika and you're doing dripping the compact. Like, what's that? <laughs> Girl, what's you guys, that? you guys do things that are very alarming. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we did and we promise to bring you more funny and interesting ones. So we'll come away next time, I'm Ereti and this is... Winner. <laughs> Bye guys.